I'm going to teach you how to create your lessons for the entire school year, which takes stress off of your back. My name is John Burnett, and this is Counseling with Mr. B, where I help you live, learn, and be stress-free. On this channel, I help educators make a positive influence on students, families, and communities. School counseling tier one level lessons are a major part of your school counseling program. These lessons equip students with the skills that they need in order to thrive and survive and be their best selves in this school year and in life in general. So what's the rationale? Why should I be creating school counseling lessons that are effective? Well, let me tell you, the more effective you are with creating tier one whole group lessons, the less likely you are to have tier two and tier three interventions, or at least lowering the numbers of those students that you have to reach. If you're still with me, drop in the comments and share an emoji that describes how you feel about planning for this school year. Creating your school counseling lessons doesn't have to be stressful as long as you have a framework to start. So how do I plan my school counseling lessons? I'm glad you asked. I use a simple year at a glance template. If you would like a copy of it, please join my Facebook group. It's called The Learning Lab. The link is in the description below. So on the screen next to me, here's a copy of a year to glance that I use. And I break it down in four sections. The events, trainings, things to do, and then character traits. So I'm gonna briefly walk through each one of these sections with you. In the events section, this is where I share important events that happen throughout that month. For example, September features Hispanic Heritage Month. By making note of the important events that happen, it helps me create presentations and programs for students, families, and staff. Part two is where I share important trainings that happen for the staff for that month. Bullying awareness, suicide and self-harm prevention, and child abuse and neglect presentation. Next, I share simple things and tasks to do. This is just where you note know important things that you have to do or get done in that month. For example, needs assessments. So I always set a specific month where I send out needs assessments. And last but not least, this is the most important part of the year at a glance. You pick out character traits that coincide with each month. This is how you build and create your lessons. So once you've picked out your character traits for each month, talk with your administrator first. Make sure they are aligned with your program and the specific needs that you plan on addressing for the school. After you've got the green light to go ahead with your program, that's when you start creating lessons. Here's a tip. Search Teachers Pay Teachers for free lessons or inexpensive lessons. You can also do a simple Google search and find things that people have already created, revise it, revamp it, and put your own spin on it. I use Slides Go and Slides Mania, and I'll drop the links in the description below. These templates are visually appealing and student friendly, and they're just cool to use. Another important tool that I use for uh, lesson creation is the ASCA Awareness Calendar. This is where it highlights specific focuses for the month on mental health and education. This is gonna be a great school year. Don't stress out, you have help if you need it. If you have any questions, feel free to send me a DM on Instagram. I plan on sharing more videos to help you organize and get ready for this school year. So stay tuned and be on the lookout. 